y'all. Yes, I'm sitting right here in my bed. You know how like a lot of people have their favorite chair in the house? Well, this is my chair. I use this, like I sleep here, I sit here, I do everything. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I am coming on here, y'all. Kim has sent me another box, but like you can see the all the tape is broken and it's like you can tell it's like it's really mashed she messaged me um i don't remember i know she messaged me yesterday but i was thinking she messaged me like maybe back on the weekend i think it was back in the weekend sometime and said how in the crap did this package y'all she's in new jersey i'm in texas do you know where this box went? Now I'm not even sure if I'm getting this right, but I think it went to Costa Rica. Let me see if it'll say. I can't remember where. It went somewhere, like, I don't know. It went somewhere crazy. Um, No, it don't have any stamps or anything on it. But yeah, I think it went ouch, to Costa I, I was just fixing to put my makeup on when uh, she messaged. And that's what I love about uh, Amazon. Like yesterday and today, I believe are prime days and I haven't been on there because I don't need to be buying nothing. But I want to because it's supposed to be some good deals on there so I may look later. Um, yeah, I think it was the 15th and the 16th or the 16th. I think it was the 15th and the 16th are prime days, but whatever. Um, Anyway, she messaged me this morning. She said, hey, did you get the box? Well, you get an email, like when a, when a package delivers, like when, anyway. So I know they must have sent her an email. And uh, she messaged and said, hey, did you get the box? And I said, hold on, let me go look. So I got the box. Let's see what's in it. I think I kind of know because, um, like we had talked about the white, uh, like I, I painted mine different last night, by the way, guys. Uh, Dan picked this color. I'm not liking this color. I, when, when he picked it, I was like, I kind of regretted. Like, I gave him, like, this is how I used to do my kids. Like, I'd say, okay, here's three things. Choose what you want. Because that way, you know, they still get to decide, but it's still within what you kind of want them to do, you know? Because, you know, kids, they'll, they'll pull out, like, something you'd be like, mm -mm, you cannot wear that. I'll have to tell y'all a story about clay one time, y'all. I'll do it in just a minute. But we talked about the fake the, hey, fingernail polish, the white fingernail polish. So I'm thinking that's what's going to be in here. And then she mentioned a couple more things. Y'all, here's a t-shirt. Oh, it's got, look, it's a t-shirt with sleeves. Yes, Kim. You are so, Kim. I love, look, V-neck. She knows I don't do a neck on it. Kim. I love you girl you are so sweet I don't know what I did to deserve somebody sweet like her in my life y'all but I'm looking here's what look y'all it's got us you want to smell miss Callie miss Callie sitting here in my lap with me oh something smells good so here's a brown one is it brown or is it black I think it's brown yeah I think it's brown and the other one was white here oh Really, Kim? Y'all, she is... Look at this. Y'all, this is what I'm fixing to put on. Do you hear me? I... Oh, my gosh. I love them. I love it. It's so soft. Oh, my gosh. Is this a... Kim? <laughs> you know, it makes me feel bad. You send me so much stuff. Y'all, I love... I love the sleeve. I can't get over that. Is this another one? Kim, you're just too much. Oh, look, it's a different one, y'all. Look, it's got like the cold. Oh, excuse me, Callie. No. Um, it's got the cold shoulder. Oh, wait a minute. There's the cold shoulder. And then it's got the little keyhole uh, opening in the back with a tie. This is so cute. So summery and so cute. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, it broke off of something. Oh, it came off of this, I bet. This is Grace, Amazing Grace, Philosophy, How You Climb the Mountain. What is this, though? Body Spritz. Okay. When do you use the body spritz? I'm clueless. 
I'm embarrassed, but I'm clueless. I don't use a body spritz. Girl, I take, in the South, you gotta take about 25 showers a day because, well, I do because I sweat like a hog. But, um, so, what, tell me, what do you do with this? Does this, like, you just get hot and you spray yourself with it? Do you, when you get funky, you spray yourself with it? I don't know. Um, I just, I take showers because, you know, you've heard me say to me many times, I sweat like a hog. Oh, look at, look at this lotion. Y'all, I just went to Walmart the other day to get some and forgot. I, like, I didn't, oops, I didn't, like, I had it on my list, and when I went to that side of the store, I forgot to go up there and get lotion. Oh, that smells like baby powder, y'all. Oh, that smells good. So, I needed a lotion, and I forgot to get one at Walmart. She's got me covered. She's always got me covered. She is something else. Oops. Oh, my goodness. And then a bag of stuff. Oh, my goodness. Just a whole big bag of goodies. I told her I would text her back and let her know if everything in here was okay. Um, okay. Some drink. She knows I'm back on my low carb. Cuticle remover. Oh, here's some crystal light. You know, I think, is this cantaloupe flavor? Oh, no, it says, let me read. Oh, it says with caffeine. Oh, okay. Okay. I try not to do caffeine just because I think it makes you retain fluid. But, um, wild strawberry. I know that's going to be good. <laughs> Some Tic Tacs. Oh, no, it's gum. Oh, I didn't know Tic Tac made gum, y'all. Did y'all know Tic Tac made gum? I didn't. Um, and let's see. Oh, okay, here's what she had talked about. She like she sent me a picture. She was holding something. I don't remember. And uh, I was like, oh my God, look at your fingernails. And she said she wears uh, this honey bunny or hoppy bunny or fluffy bunny or something bunny. Funny bunny. Uh, and that's that's the color she wears. Because I was just like, oh my God, your fingers look, your fingernails look amazing. She's got those beautiful fingernails that they're like a mile long and they're not even like, see, I have a bunch like over the meat, like this one, y'all. Like I got, I'm one of those, one of those fingernails is what that looks like. That's, I don't like that. But I mean, they're long, but hers look amazing and it, and they're not even grown out past the meat. So she's got, excuse me, uh, ma'am, stop it. Let me get through this. Uh, a razor? Is that what it is? A razor? Ma'am. And then, uh, get your coconut glow. Callie is, uh, sitting by the camera, so that's why it's moving. Oh, and here's a, a gel coat color in pink. And then, oh, a gel coat color in like a, a pearly pink and then oh girl I have to put my glasses back on um oh a sunscreen an ulta like a uh, sunscreen for your lips and this is a Jordan 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner in espresso love that what in the oh look at we talked about this this is like to push your cuticles back with uh, so she sent me the little tool. Y'all, this is this little bitty side to this big side and this little bitty side. It's going to be this little bitty side because my old, my nail bed, my nail beds are tiny, teeny tiny. Did I go through everything? Oh no, here was this. A precise smudging brush by Elf. Okay. I don't want this to take 10 forever. Thank you so much, Kim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, like I said, I don't know what I've done to deserve such an amazing friend like you, but I'm very thankful to have you in my life. You're amazing. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat my, this is what I eat. Like, this is my lunch. I, I, I'm not doing the intermittent fasting, but then I kind of am because, like, I eat supper uh, at night at, you know, like, whatever time, 7 or 8, whatever time we get to it. Um... I might have one of these or an apple for a snack later on it, or I might have a uh, one of those Atkins. Well, I bought Premier this time. I didn't buy Atkins. Uh, the drinks, you know, I, I buy the chocolate and I buy pe peaches and cream and strawberry. Those are the three I drink. 
Um, so, and then I don't, of course I don't eat, but then I don't usually eat breakfast. So it's probably around 10 30 or 11 right now. So like I, I don't, I go for like, what is that? 12 hours, sometimes, you know, 13 or 14 hours. So even though I'm not intentionally trying to do the intermittent fasting, I am doing the intermittent fasting, but, um, yeah, I read something about uh, another vitamin that I think I need. But I was going to say this while I go. I've noticed, and see, I noticed this when I watch my videos back. I am the world's worst about starting a sentence and then just never finishing it, going on to something else. I'm terrible about that. And I hate that about myself. And I've tried to do better recently. God, that piece of peach didn't like this teeny weeny piece of peach in there it just kept sitting at the top of my throat it wouldn't go down like my muscles weren't working or something that's really weird um but it but i think i've gotten better like and forgetful y'all i, I can't I'll tell you how many times i've edited out what was i saying because <laughs> i say that a bunch well, i'm not doing it now so i don't know if it's one of these is it the thyroid thing? Is it what? It, I don't know what it is. Some of these vitamins. I'm not doing the, I forgot what I was saying or what was I saying? I'm not doing that near as bad. And I know that just from the editing of the videos. But yeah, there's been times when I've had to cut that out like every two seconds. So that's better. But I thought I would do a get ready with me this morning, like a little chit chat while I get, well, not get dressed because this is what I'm going to wear. But I am going to put some makeup on. But, um, y'all, Dan built my, I mentioned this in, an, in another video and then I never did finish talking about it. It was one of those things. Um, I ordered four motors from Amazon. Oh, I want to use that. I'm going to take this off and put that white nail polish on Kim sent me today. Um, I ordered four motors from Amazon. You know, the that turns the cups, you know, the glitter cups, epoxy cups, whatever you want to call them. I have some I want to work on for some for some uh, friends and um, family, friends, whatever you can call them. They're both. They're family and they're friends. How about that? Um, I want to work on some cups for them. And I thought, you know, I might as well just go ahead and order some motors and you know dan had said don't order no motors because i don't want you making these cups to sell because every time i get into something people end up going you know oh well how much would you charge me for this and i don't want to get into it like that yeah you know I, I i understand when people do that sort of but you know i need my hobby to stay my hobby i don't need it to turn into my job and that's what ruins like I, sewing i, I did I, sewing became my job made me hate sewing. I don't hate sewing. It, I hated it being my job. Uh, cakes. Cakes turned into my job. Um, I don't hate making cakes. I just hate that it became my job. And then, yeah, I don't want to do these cups to sell because I don't, I mean, it's a hobby. I want to enjoy it. I don't want to have to sit in there and slave over them, you know, like 10 hours a day, you know, missing dead, or not missing, but trying to make deadlines that I can't possibly meet without staying up, you know, for two or three days straight. I just don't want to do it. I just want it to be my hobby. So I'm not going to do it. But I did order the four motors. And I'm going to show y'all in a minute. I'm going to try to remember that I've said this. And then shoot, show you the clip when I get up in a minute. I asked Dan to make me. Like the holder for the motors. To, you know, to put the cups on. Because I, I found out like an amazing deal. I got four motors for like 18 or $20. No, just it was cheap. So I got those four motors. And I said, hey, let me show you this video because this is what I want you to build for me. No, 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 no. I don't need to see a video. I'm not even lying, y'all. If I asked him once, I asked him 10 times, sit down and let me show you this video. It won't take long. You can just, you just get the gist of what I'm wanting. No, I don't need to see a video. I'll build you a turner, holder, cup thing. I don't know what. Anyway, I knew better. I knew better. I'm going to show y'all what he built me. And I'm thankful. I really am. I'm thankful that he built it for me. But y'all. Why is it Dan wants to build me some 1918 looking mess? 
with some raggedy old leftovers. I told him, let me go get the wood. Just tell me what I need. I'll run pick it up. You don't even, like, because, like, he don't have time to go and do stuff like that. I said, I'll pick it all up. I'll have it here for you for when you need it. No, I got it. And I was like, okay. Maybe he's got some decent looking wood out there at his shop. I don't ever go there. Anyway, I hate that with a passion, y'all. The hair in my mouth. And Dan building me some raggedy mess. I mean, y'all, he used like whatever he had laying around out there. And you know, Dan is a hoarder. So he's got some raggedy mess. I leave like some little bits in there because Callie loves to eat it. You want it, Miss Callie? She loves to lick down in there. Ooh, it's cold sitting here. Um, while I'm talking about it, I'm going to get up and go show you and I'm going to cut the air condition off. Y'all, do you see this hot mess he built me? For one, would you look at how big it is? I mean, I don't know if you can get a... I don't know how to show you. Y'all, that's huge. It looks like a little Volkswagen sitting there. And would you look at this raggedy old... What is this, Dan? Y'all, would you look at this... I, I don't... I, mean, I don't want to go... I don't want this. I'm going to have to paint it because this is a hot mess, y'all. Could he have built it any uglier and any... I mean, it's gigantic. I'm not lying, y'all. It's a good two feet long. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Yeah, I don't know what this is. So, while I'm thankful, that's a hot mess. Kim, this gum... Oh, y'all, I love gum, but I will chew this stuff until I make my jaws hurt. I love gum. I was, I just thought to myself, I got this box out because I'm like a little kid. I want to paint my fingernails with this right now. And I thought to myself, I'm going to give all this gum to Clay. Clay ain't getting this gum. It is so good. This is the spearmint flavor, y'all. I didn't even know Tic Tac made gum. This is some good gum. I love it. Oh, you know what? It's probably... Oh, no, it says it's sugar-free. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. How many pieces? Huh? I probably put oh no y'all I probably just ate about 10 because they're little teeny tiny they're teeny tiny like a little bitty so I probably put about 10 or 12 pieces in my mouth to make a good sized piece of gum and it has two carbs per six I just put four Gina I just chewed four carbs in this gum. This better be some good gum. Cause you got, uh-uh, don't do that. I've got toilet paper here to take my fingernail polish off with. Callie was gonna try to eat it. What is it about dogs and, dogs and toilet paper? They will tear it up. So I guess I will be giving this gum to Clay because while it is fantastic, I'm not, um, I don't feel like giving my eating. I mean, you know what? I mean, I, that that's why I don't chew gum because, yeah, you know, four carbs. Well, I'm gonna chew this piece all day. Do you hear me? Since I didn't got the carbs out of it, I'm just chew this all day. But I'm gonna clay the rest. So it's good, Kim. It's too good because I would want to eat this, and yeah, I'd have to go without supper or something to be able to chew this gum. Oh, what's the matter, baby? What in the world have you got over there, a mess? Y'all, I'm gonna sit here and talk to y'all for a second. Um, I don't have any, I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. Um, it's too hot to get out of the house. Like, I don't have anything fun planned. 
to take y'all along on. So I'm gonna sit here and talk to you while I take my fingernail polish off and put some more on. It's that. But um, I probably need to spit this gum out because y'all gonna be going like, oh my God, stop. Callie, please don't spill that. Um, y'all gonna be like, oh my god, if she don't quit smacking that gun. So I might have to spit it out here in a minute because I will go to town on it. Um, I wanted to ask y'all something. This company has reached out to me. Y'all know I do the Nadine West videos. Well, and I've told y'all before that um, other companies have reached out to me to do one, you know, for them too. And while, like, part of me wants to go, heck yes, I mean, who don't want some free clothes? But the thing is, like, I went to their uh, site and looked, you know, actually, I didn't go to their site, that's a lie. I watched videos on YouTube, I just YouTubed some people that were doing, you know, the, the review videos, and while their clothes are beautiful and really nice they're in a price range I would never I would never buy I am the queen of cheap now sometimes I will spend on clothes like Callie please don't I will spend on she's determined to run off with this toilet paper I will spend money on clothes and, you know, it just depends on what it is and, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. If I can wear it, like, I keep my clothes, y'all, forever. And so, if it's something I know that I can keep for a long, long time and get um, wear out of, I'll keep it. I mean, I'll buy it. But I, I don't buy a whole bunch. Does that make sense? Anyway, so I, so I said no. Well, a company has reached out to me, uh, a message yesterday. And they want to send me some stuff to review. And uh, I was like, sure. And uh, so anyway, they want me to send them my billing information to do that. Um, no. Um, no. Because, like, to me, if it's a gift, gift it to me. I, I don't want you to, I mean, why do you need my billing information? Um, anyway, and I'm sure it's on the up and up. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it probably is. But, I just don't think it's it would be smart of me to enter into an agreement. Like, you know, it's like those companies, those, I don't know if it's a company, those scammers that, you know, will email and say, Oh, you know, you've won this prize of $3 million. All you got to do is pay the shipping or whatever. For us to get it to you and no that's a scam and I'm not saying this company is a scam whatsoever but if you want to gift me something gift it to me and I will like it, it, it's a gift but it's kind of a contract too because you know I would be having to film you know the review video and uh, they also wanted the video up within a certain amount of days which is fine you know I've worked with Nadine West for you know about two years and I've never like they they didn't ask for let me spit this out before I sit here and chew it um because I was really I was wanting to shut up talking just like so chew this gum anyway they don't ask me for uh, to have my video up by any certain day. Well, this new company said they wanted me. I'm gonna have to probably just quit and say this because if I do it and like if I try to paint my fingernails and talk at the same time, I'll draw it out for three hours. But um, the company uh, wanted me to have it done within a seven day window, which is fine. I mean, I can do that. But if I don't get it done within those seven days, then what happens? Because you know, sometimes guys, life throws us curveballs and we don't. You know, we don't get stuff done. And uh, so, uh, you know, I was like, you know, anyway. And, and like if I ordered this package, like if I was a customer, you know, you do have to give your billing information. And if you, you know, don't send, I think you have a certain amount of days to pick the pieces or whatever and then send them back. And if you don't, they bill you for it. Well, I, I get that. 
but is that going to, you know, is that how they're going to work my, if my video doesn't go up in seven days, will they bill my account for those clothes and, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, is that something y'all want to see? Do you want to see other subscription box companies? Um, and, and I've, like I said, I've chosen not to go a certain way because, you know, some are more expensive. Do you want to see the more expensive ones that we, we wouldn't buy? Um, I mean, I, it's like, I don't see the point. Like, I'm the kind of person where I don't like to go window shopping. If I can't buy it, I don't want to look at it. Sort of. I mean, I like to look at houses and stuff I could never afford. Excuse me, but clothes, I mean, you know what I mean? I'm just not, some people love clothes and they get into it, so I, I can understand that. But um, is that something y'all want to see? Do you want to see subscription box type things? I've thought about maybe trying to get, I, I actually thought about getting the keto, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it may just be called keto box. I'm not sure what it is. Well, it's like 50 bucks. Uh, no, I'm not trying to spend $50 on some stuff to, you know, some snacks to try. Um, especially like $50 a month, like, like a $50 one time thing. That's one thing, but $50 a month for some keto snacks. Mm -mm, that's, that's not me, but you know, I'm just curious. What, what do y'all want to see? Would you want me to say yes to some of that stuff? Um, I do want to go on. I've actually got some stuff in my, uh, basket on wish and, uh, like, I'd like to go on, like, Alibaba, and, uh, I think there's one called Bow Bow or something like that. Um, I, I can't remember what it's called, but there's some different sites like that. I, I think I am going to order some stuff from there, even though I don't really think, um, and that's another thing. What was that noise? Uh, y'all better not try to sneak in, but listen, if you're looking at my video, don't don't surprise me and try to come over here and see me don't uh, you will get shot i'm not even playing i'm the biggest chicken there ever was on the planet and i'm on the ready I i'm not i'm ready for some surprises i hope i never get them but i'm ready so don't come up here thinking you're gonna surprise me because you're gonna get surprised anyway um See, I forgot. Oh, the, the clothes box that has messaged me said they were ethically sourced. Like, their clothes are ethically sourced. And I was like, that's really good. I like that. Um, but while like, I do have kind of a problem with the whole wish thing and, and them, you know, maybe having child labor. I don't know. I'm not saying they do. I'm just saying I don't know who, you know, does it. But to charge those, like, crazy low prices, they've got to be sourcing it from somewhere that's, you know, child labor or making people work long hours you know like I've seen the videos you know they they lock people in the buildings over there and make them work until all the work is done they don't care how long that takes and they lock them in and you know uh, not long ago one of them caught on fire and burned a whole bunch of people so I don't want to promote that kind of thing so that's that's why I haven't done any of the wish stuff because I don't want to promote that type of stuff but at the same time if those people don't have those jobs, they don't have they they can't eat. Like that's how they afford to eat. So it's a catch twenty two. You know, I want I would I would not like to see their life be terrible, and then you know have to work long hours or the kids have to work. Um, I don't know how we fix that. I, I think we don't support those people that treat those people that way, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's a catch-22. Those people need the money desperately. You know, they need to work just like we do. And, yeah, I don't know. So, let me know what you think. And I will do some more stuff. I am going to start doing some more low-carb recipes and the what I eat in a day and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to start doing more of that. Or some of that. I hadn't been doing that in a while because I was off the diet. But I'm back now. So, except for my four carbs worth of gum I just chewed. But anyway, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Let's talk about it and, and I'll look and see what else, you know, I can do because like I realize I don't go and do like crazy fun stuff and, you know, uh, like a young family with little kids going here, there and yonder and all that kind of stuff. So just let me know. I mean, yeah, we'll see what we can figure out.